The Harry Denman Evangelism Award recognizes clergy, youth, and laypersons for outstanding service in evangelism. Those eligible for this prestigious award practice the Great Commission and faithfully carry out the mission of making disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. The award is named for the late Dr. Harry Denman, distinguished evangelist, who Billy Graham called my mentor in evangelism. The award was made possible by the Foundation for Evangelism, which was founded in 1949 by Dr. Denman, who felt it was the business of every Christian to be an evangelist. The Foundation's mission is to promote, encourage, and provide resources for responsible evangelism, enabling the United Methodist Church to bring people into a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and help them grow as his disciples. Multiple nominations were submitted. The winner of the Youth Award was selected by the Conference Council of Youth Ministries, and the winner of the Lay Award was selected by the Conference Board of Laity. Hi, my name is Reverend Emma Williams, and I'm the Faith Formation Director for the Center for Leadership Development, and I'm delighted to present the 2020 Harry Denman Evangelism Award for Youth to Ainsley Ross. Ainsley is a member of Arapahoe UMC in Richardson and a student at J.J. Pierce High School. 2020 has brought interruptions to all of our lives and canceled celebrations and milestones for us all, but especially for students who are anticipating end-of-year concerts, playoff games, and graduation ceremonies. For our North Texas Conference students, COVID-19 meant closing Bridgeport Camp in order to keep our families safe. When Ainsley heard that summer camp would not be happening on site this year, instead of complaining about missing out, she thought about how she might bring a part of camp to life in a new way. As you'll see in the following video, Ainsley reached out to her youth director and her fellow campers from across the conference to share morning devotions and bring Bridgeport into our homes. This Morning Watch initiative was an extension of the faithful and energetic spirit that people have seen in Ainsley her whole life. Congratulations, Ainsley, and thank you for leading your peers and sharing their faith with others. Hello, my name is Alexis Spencer. My name is Hannah Fulkerson. Good morning, my name is Reverend Taylor Smith. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Watch. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Morning Watch. Hi, good morning. My name is Mia Hamby. Hello, my name is Reed Phillips. Hey, what's up? I'm Ben Patrick. Good morning, y'all. Hi, guys. My name is Gilbert Leal Jr. Hi, guys. <laughs> my name's Megan Hewitt. Hi. My name is Heather Aldridge. Hey, y'all. I'm Callie Warren. Hi, my name's Ainsley Ross. I'm an incoming junior at JJ Pierce High School. I attend Arapahoe United Methodist Church, and I have been going to Bridgeport Camp for seven years. So this year has been difficult all around, just with all of the crazy changes and new things we've had to adjust to. And when the difficult decision was made to cancel camp, I had a really hard time thinking about a summer not at Bridgeport. And so I started thinking of ways that I could still connect with some of my friends from camp that I haven't seen in a year. And I kept thinking about morning watch, which has always been a really special time for me. I love waking up in the morning and watching the sunrise. And I love getting to listen to what the students have to say because morning watch is normally for the most part student led. And so that was something that I really wanted to be able to still connect to even without camp. And so I thought up the idea of starting an Instagram account where anyone that felt like they wanted to could send in a video or sing a song and we would post it and make it kind of like a morning watch and it has been such a special thing to have um for me it's brought quite a bit of comfort we have lost two very special people in the bridgeport community chelsea and ben and we did morning watches that were dedicated to both of them and that had brought me so much comfort. It's been really cool to see how everybody can bring something to the table. Some people like to have a devotional. We've had some very talented people send in playing a guitar or singing a song and I think it's just been really comforting to everybody to still have that community because it truly is such a family and I've just loved getting to connect with new friends and old friends through this really really special Instagram account. Hi I'm Casey Cummings. I am a day school teacher here at Arapahoe and a member and I am involved in the children's ministry. Ainsley Ross is one of the most special members of this church to me. She is an integral part of our children's ministry and it thrives 
because of her involvement. Our kids look up to Ainsley. Even as adults, my friends and I wish that we could have been teenagers like her. And we pray that our children are teenagers like her. Ainsley and I have always bonded over our mutual love of both working with children and music. Ainsley has helped me coordinate the music for our children's ministry. All of the young families here are so grateful to have Ainsley as a model and guide for our kids. So Ainsley, we cherish you, we love you, we are so proud of you and everything you do. Thank you. Do you know Ainsley? Yep. What do you know about Ainsley? Uh, teacher. She's a teacher? Yes. What do you think about her? I think her smart and cute. Oh. Hi. My name is Amanda Hollis. I'm the music director at Arapahoe United Methodist Church. I first came to know Ainsley about three and a half years ago when I first started working this position. She came up to me after a worship service, introduced herself, and told me how much she loves Broadway musicals and singing. So I invited her to be a part of a youth choir that I am the assistant director for called Spirit Wind. She jumped in with both feet into that organization, and I was amazed at how quickly she made friends, how she dove right into the rehearsals and became an instant leader. And she's been a part of this organization now for two years. Um, it has been a privilege to watch her learn and grow in her leadership skills, in herself, in her musical skills. She is a joy and she is a gift and I am honored to have her be a part of my life. Thank you Ainsley for all that you do and for leading those around you and giving such a beautiful example of Christ-likeness, of kindness, and of love to all around you. Hi everyone, my name is Reverend Maggie Proshek and I serve as the Associate Pastor of Discipleship for Children, Youth, and Families at Arapahoe United Methodist Church. I've known Ainsley Ross for quite a few years now. We actually met at Bridgeport Summer Camp, but I was so excited to get the opportunity to walk with her through her faith journey, to learn from her, to guide her, um, and to just be in ministry with her. And so I was so excited when she came to me with this idea of wanting to start this Morning Watch Instagram page, this ministry that would allow young people to share devotionals, and music and prayers with this community that is like their family. And if you go to that page and you watch these devotionals and you see the engagement of these young people, I guarantee that you will feel the Holy Spirit moving in you too. And so Ainsley, I am so proud of you. I am thankful for you, for the ways that you are engaging others in ministry, the ways that you are growing deeper in your own faith and for the ways that you are being a leader in our church and in our world.